Holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death and therefore were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Today we honor the English martyrs, Saints John Fisher, who was a bishop, and St. Thomas More. We ask their intercession to help us to give bold witness to Christ by our own lives as they did both in life and in death. We ask forgiveness for our sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in martyrdom have brought true faith to its highest expression, graciously grant that strengthened through the intercession of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More, we may confirm by the witness of our life the faith we profess with our lips. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver, and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and her herds and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife between you and me or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land at your disposal? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zoar, like the Lord's own garden or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot therefore chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled along the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you, and from where you are, gaze to the north and south, east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. So set forth and walk about in the land through its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tents and went on to settle near the terebinth of Mamer, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Be 
He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, who nor takes up reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. He He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The scene set for us in the book of Genesis today reminds me of the old westerns where the two would be facing off and saying, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. And there would have to be like a showdown or a duel and say, you better get. So we have Abram with all of his riches and Lot with all of his riches and This town just ain't big enough for the two of us. But there's no fighting there. There's no argumentation. It's like this quite simply, uh, Abram leaves the choice to Lot. It's like, you choose. Uh, You want this, I'll I'll go the other way. You want that, I'll go. uh, That that really is uh, giving freedom, is it not? Because... There's always that sort of, well, no, go ahead, you decide, but really what you want is for them to decide the what you want. And like, no, 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 you you go ahead, and then they do, well, if I had known that you were gonna choose that, so there's a there's a sense of dissatisfaction. There, it really wasn't a choice that was being given to the person. It was really manipulation. Do what I want you to do. But that's not what Jesus is teaching with that law. Do to others what you would have them do to you. And that is treat with respect treat with dignity, but give them freedom as well. 
uh, that freedom to make choices, even if they disagree with your choices, do to others what you would have them do to you. None of us wants to be manipulated. None of us wants to be disrespected. None of us wants to be treated with rudeness or lack of charity. And so um, that's why Jesus teaches that this and sums up the whole law and the prophets. It's wonderful how all of these books and all of these commandments and all of these laws can be just summarized in something that is easily learned and memorized and also uh, being able to put, uh, to implement it. It doesn't mean that it's easy to implement because to allow people to have freedom like Abram did for Lot, that means you have to let go. There has to be, you have to let go of ego and allow the other person to choose and then respect their choice. And you may not like it, but just like you would want others to honor your choice, your decision, your freedom, then we're supposed to do the same. Jesus calls this the narrow gate. It's constricted, that road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. So even though it's short, it's pithy, it's easy to remember, there's also, I guess, a sense of it's also difficult to do. And again, as I said, it means a lot of self-surrender and letting go. Letting go of pride, letting go of arrogance, letting go of rudeness, letting go of self-righteousness and being open then to the other person. We hear how Abram and Lot separated and they did so peacefully. This was not a showdown at the OK Corral where there's guns blazing. You better get out of this town. They separated peacefully. May our implementation of, of this, the golden rule, to do to others whatever you would have them do to you, help us to abide in peace with one another. Let us pray. that the church may be an instrument of peace in the world, helping to reconcile peoples and countries through the preaching of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the saints we honor today, John Fisher and Thomas Moore, also teach us how to be bold to witness to the truth of the faith. And even the willingness to lay down our life for that truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord These men were executed at the order of King Henry VIII. And so we pray for heads of government, leaders of state, those who guide and direct nations and peoples, 
that all their actions may be just, protect human life, and uphold the dignity and the sanctity of the human person, we pray to the Lord. Thomas More and John Fisher were also trying to uphold the, the sanctity of marriage and the marriage bond. We pray for all who are married that the Lord may strengthen the grace of their union and help all those who are preparing for marriage uh, to do so uh, wisely and chastely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, for the healing of those who have been made sick by COVID, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those commended to our prayers today, for the repose of the deceased Ophelia Romero, John Carlo Arago, and Isabel Martinez, may they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Almighty God, hear the prayers of your church and through the intercession of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More, help us by your grace to live out our faith boldly and witness to the truth shown to us by your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim, holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice on my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now sincerely and safely offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.